guys so welcome back to my channel so in this um tutorial today we'll be sewing our patterns like you see let me start from the joggers it's cut into four okay two for the front two for the back the same pattern they are not adults that you will see at three inches at the back of the crotch and everything no this is okay for them okay so i'll keep this aside then this is my sleeve i cut two this is our pattern keep this aside too then for my front i'm going to show something so this is for the upper part the front sorry this is the back this is the back of my pattern and this is my front so <laughs> i did something different i wanted to add a little bit spice to this so that um it will not be the regular the same thing so i cut my front pattern then trim out two inches from the middle from the from this place i trimmed off two inches okay and replace it back with this plain material so in case you're sewing for your different kids with the same material you can spice them up okay this one has its own um spice then you can see this this one has its own spice by using plain material for the sleeve and taping it with the Ankara fabric so you see the spices are different and the other one in the thumbnail you can see that is the same Ankara um, Ankara sleeve that I use so you just let your creativity guide you okay we are designers they are so mates we are designers so let your creativity guide you so having shown you this let's move over to i want to show us how i'm cutting my band and my neck tape okay this place this color i want to show us how i'm cutting the band this band and the neck tape but that will be after i joined this all right so that we'll use the measurement to cut out the band and the neck tape so let's move over to the sewing machine so guys in this tutorial i'll be making use of my elastic band one inch size one if you can see it size one okay so i'll be starting with the joggers for the move over to the polo okay so the first thing to do is to separate two because one will be for the front and one will be for the back then you sew the crotch area all right you sew the two crotch areas together with half inch remember our half inch sewing allowance so having done this having joined all the crotch together we are going to top stitch in such a way that you know when they play the seams won't rip off you know these they are kids now so this is what we have so we're going to be top, top stitching so what you will do is this your seam this is your sewing allowance here you're going to fold small in then fold in the rest if you've not watched my previous video on how to cut kiddies um, trouser please go and watch it you'll see all these things they are detailed there okay so you just fold small in then you fold in the rest and make sure you maintain um the same sewing allowance okay you know you will be seeing it the sewing in front on the right side of the fabric so make sure you maintain the same sewing allowance and spread spread as you sew so you won't be sewing on top of your trouser so guys this is what we have if we can see the the seam okay 
So the next thing to do is to join our trousers together. So we're going to be joining the the sides. We're going to be joining the two sides together. So maintain your half inch swing allowance. So guys, um, after stitching with your half inch, so um, you can do this turn up, this French thing we did um, for at the crotch area, you can still do it at the side if you wish to, okay? Or you can just iron it out. So you mark out your 2 inches sewing allowance for your band here. You mark it out then fold in. So you're going to be folding with 1.5 inches, okay? You fold in 0 0.5 inches first. So this is it. You fold in 0 0.5 inches in first. Like this. Then you fold in the rest. Okay? Do we get? You fold in a smaller part first then you fold in the rest so that your elastic can have enough room to pass into and it should be tight when you're passing it inside then you so you do for this leg and do for the other leg Having stitched the hem, you can press it, give it a good press. Then you measure out what you have here. So I have 17 inches, and you know we are working with ankle of 8 inches. So we're going to be using elastic to gather the 17 inches back to 8 inches, okay? So my elastic is 1 inch elastic. So all you need to do is to, it depends on how stretchy yours is. So, you know, you won't mark out that 17 inches. So you just find a number in between the 17 inches and 8 inches that when you stretch your elastic, this is 8 inches. But when you stretch it, what's the elasticity limit, okay? Then this um, seven inches. Actually, this band is very tight, like it's super super tight. So I'll just, I think I'll just do. Let me see seven inches. But if you have another way of calculating your elastic, you can go ahead. Okay, you can go ahead. But I like stretching my out just to be sure. Okay, so I think I'll go with seven inches i don't want this to be tight okay so that the person can pull it up to form more boogles stuff especially when the kid is pairing it with a sneakers you can just pull it up a little so i think i'll be going with seven inches elastic for both legs okay so to impute our um bands into the um, casing we made i'm going to be using this so make making use of this if you have your safety pin, you can use it, but I don't have mine now, so I'll just put this into it. You know, normal way of putting an um, elastic into a casing, then you try to pull it out from this end, okay? So I'll do that for the two of them. Make sure you secure the end of this, your starting point, so that everything will not be going inside.
So you can see what we have now. It has been gathered. Has become small. You know it was very wide before. This is the one we've not done. So you can see how wide this one is. And this has made it small. So this is what we have. I'll repeat this for this and I'll get back to us. So guys, having done the two leg, you can see the puffiness is is already showing at this downside. Okay, so we are going to match up the crotch area. Make sure they are matching. So you sew from one leg down to this. So you can weave out all these rough edges, okay? Please weave them out. So the next thing to do is to fold our waist, okay? So remember we gave 2 inches allowance, so I'm going to be marking down my 2 inches. You can use your pressing iron to do this, but like I said, I can do it here equally. Use my pin to hold it down. Go to the back also. Do the same two inches. So I'll push in half an inch from the side. I'm starting from the side. You can start from anywhere. Just that I, I need an opening. Where my elastic will pass in so i just want it to be by the side so you can start anywhere when when the elastic is inside you hardly see those stitches okay so you push in half inch as you go So when you are getting to your initial starting point, which is this place, you leave about 2 inches for your elastic to pass through. The trouser waist you are working with is 20 inches, so I think I will cut out 15 inches elastic for this. So with my pusher again, I will push in. From the opening I left, I'll push in my elastic round. So if you've not seen my previous video on um, how to cut this, please go and watch it. Then I have another video on how to cut and sew kids um, straight pants, straight trousers straight pencil trouser okay I'll leave the link below in the description box so remember that you hold this part so that everything will not be pushed in okay there we have it so you secure this to edge And push it in so you sew up this part so having closed that part of our trouser or joggers is ready you can see that everything in has formed out so well so in case of those that we are wondering won't the crotch length be too high you can see it's not too high just from this your half inch sewing to this part is not too high we'll move over to sewing the top part the polo part okay so this is what we have isn't this beautiful so if the length is too long for the kid you can 
push it up when they wear it and it will give you more puffy effect and you pair it up with a sneakers okay so you iron this out weave it for neat finishing and we'll sew the polo so guys moving over to our polo here these are our polo cutouts um i've already done something for the sleeve as you can see i decided to you know tape the tip of the sleeve with my black fabric to give it another look instead of using just plain sleeve okay so all you need to do is to cut out how many you want so i guess this is about i didn't measure i just i bought this shirt let me see okay this is about one and a half inches so i'll fold it into two and sew with little seam allowance and top stitch at the end of the day So this is the one I've done. Can you see it? So I'm I'll go ahead now to top stitch for this one. Our two sleeves are ready. I'll keep this aside and move over to the the front, the upper part. So right side facing each other will join the shoulder. So one of the shoulder will be joined just halfway. Let me show us something. This is the one I've done. I know this neck is small. It needs to be fitted around the child's neck, okay? So and it won't enter the child's neck without an opening. So this is what I did. Can we see this? This is an opening. I used press button. So I all I did was sew the shoulder to about three quarter inch. Okay? I so that I can be able to fix my sleeve very well. I sewed the shoulder to about three quarter inch and left the rest open. So I used um hemming gum to hold this down inside. And I put press button. So that by the time you open it up, the child's head can enter easily, okay? But this shoulder is normal. You sew it normally. So you choose one part, make the shoulder, sew it normally, okay? From beginning to the end. Then in the other one, you just sew about three quarter inch or half inch. It's just small little thing that will help you fix the sleeve normally, okay? Then... You, you can put two or three press buttons, but I just used one, okay, so that by the time the child's head passes through, then you can now close in your press button, like so, and it will still be, um, it will still be round neck and it will still be fitted around the neck area. But for adults, you can, adults, they can push their head through. But you know kids now, when you're pushing their head through a cloth, they can start crying and, you know, they, they can be restless. Alright, so that's what we are going to do. So I have to take my time to explain this. I will sew, the, I will sew one shoulder from beginning to the end, normal, how we sew shoulder. Then for another part, the other shoulder, I'll just sew about half inch to three quarter inch. And I'll leave the rest. Then when I'm pressing my clothes i'll press down the sewing allowance i'll hold it together with hemming gum okay and i'll fix in my press button this press button this is how it looks like so i'll fix in my press button here as you can see okay so let's go So now we'll take the round neck measurement. We have 18.25 here, so this is okay. Then when you sew in, 
you know the this place this place is like half inch again so by the time you take this measurement round again you see that it has come up to like maybe 14 point you know this would still add to still add to the measurement okay this this black stuff will still add to the measurement so kids you don't need total neck at all this same measurement i used for this neckline is what i used here and you can see that the neckline at the end of the day is small okay so they don't need you to stress them if they are adult and hair they can you know this this fabric is not stretchy at all it's ankara is cutting so if you make it that tight they won't feel comfortable so we have 18.25 that is what we are using to cut our neck band okay but before that i'll fix the sleeves so that i can close up the side and cut the waist band together with the neck tapings okay so guys having fixed our sleeves okay i'm going to close up the sides so whatever I do for this side, I'll do for the other one, okay? So remember our round sleeve is 3.5, that's 7 inches. So 3.5 on fold. Mark that out and I'll sew. So I will sew down my the rest of the body with one inch. Okay, so um we are done stitching the sides. Let's see what we have. So guys, this is what we have, okay? And um We've measured our round neck and our round neck gave us 18.25 Okay, so we're going to measure this hem now I want to cut the band of the neck and the band of the hem together so We have 28 inches here This is 14 so we have 28 inches for this you know round okay so we'll go now to the cutting table to cut the band of this and the neckline of this and we'll come to fix it and that will be the end of our polo okay so let's go and cut so guys like i told us earlier this cloth doesn't stretch both ways so i had to cut on bias so what do I mean cutting on bias? Cutting on bias is simply I'm um, placing the okay, this is your fabric. Okay, this is the fabric spread out like this. So instead of cutting it straight this side or straight this side, you fold in a triangular form. Okay, so you fold in a triangular form. You see the stretchness okay so when you fold like this then you measure out whatever you need i bet you this consumes clothes so so for the 24 inches remember this is serving as an elastic so you're not you're not going to be cutting directly um you're not going to be cutting straight up the number you measured like you measured um okay 28 inches you cut 28 inches no like this i can cut 24 inches then why why so you pull you know this serving as an elastic okay so we pull then for the neck that is 8.25 18.25 we can cut 16 we can cut 15.25 then when swing we stretch the stretchness is what makes it relax if not it will be gaping okay so i'm going to cut out two inches for the for the waistband i'll cut two inches this is on it's on bias now so i'll cut two inches for the waist 
then I'll cut um, 0.75 on full. That is one 1.5 if you open it up. 0.75 on fold for the neck. So by the time you use quarter inch to sew, it will remain 0.5. Okay. So I'll mark out my two inches. Remember, we are not cutting the exact number we have. So I can cut 24 inches. It depends on how stretchy your material is. If it's super, super, super stretchy, you can cut 23, 22. You can reduce as much as you want, then pull. That will give it the um, puffiness at the hem. Okay, so let me see. Okay, this is up to 24 inches. So I'll cut out now, okay? So guys, this is my two inches band for the waist. I'll cut out my 1.5 inches for the neck area. Okay now, so I can use this edge along this edge now because you know it was placed on, um, on bias. So I don't need to go waste another fabric i can use that edge or i can equally place it on bias myself again and see if it's up to 15.25 so yes it's up to 15.25 so i'll just measure three quarter inch measure my three quarter inch so now let's go to the sewing table to sew this neck band and um, the waistband okay so guys to fix in our band I'm going to this is our band, you know it's on fold. So I'll open it up like this. Right side facing each other like this. I'll sew the two end, okay? I want this sewing to be inside. So you open it up, sew the two end with some inches. of the seam you can press it press the seam open and fold it back in secure with a pin so after securing with a pin this part we soon will be at the side one side like this so all you need to do is to like let um just keep as i'm holding the band like this wear it in to the hem of your clothes like this let it be like this just put it like this can we see it so you bring it down making this sewn part this end that we sew this end part let it match up one side seam of your clothes and you have to open up the seam too so making sure that it matches up like this you pin down okay so with this you already know that the band is shorter than the clothes so you have to stretch as you sew okay 
so now the trick is pull as you sew pull along like stretch only the band not the entire fabric will stretch the band so that it will match up with your fabric stretch it So guys, this is what we have, if you can see it, if you want it to be more gathered, then you, re you still reduce the length of your band, but remember, it depends on the elasticity of the band, if it's not too stretchy, please don't reduce more, like this one, I reduced 3 inches, and I, I am, I'm okay with what I got, so if I want it more gathered, I have to reduce more of the band okay so this is it here this is what we have to the back is the gathering that will give it that puffy look at this place just like your bomber jacket okay for our neckline this is our band okay so you you fold too you fold into two okay then you start from that neck part that is open so this is the opened part you start from there and pin down pin down your your first starting point where we are showing now that we have to stretch it just like we did here so you stretch as you pull but don't stretch too much now this is the thing if you cut this band exactly the same size as this neckline it will give it will not be firm it will give is the stretching stretchy nature of this band that will not make it to stay on the neck okay so so i'm taking my time now to explain it so that you not say you don't understand I want this to be as simple as ABC for everybody. So guys, after sewing, this is what we have. But we're not going to leave it exactly like this. We have to stitch it down. These um, um, sewing allowance, we have to top stitch it to stitch it down. So you push it down like this. You push it down. Let it face the ankara. Let it be on the ankara. The sewing allowance. Let it be on the ankara, not on the collar or the taping. No, let it be down on the ankara. Then you sew little, like cl very close to the band. So guys, at the end of the day, this is what we have, our lovely top, as you can see, and my opening, I went ahead to put my um, press button, okay? So this can enter any child's neck, can we see? Okay, with this opening, it can enter. So this is our lovely top, you can see the effect, the black gave it, the sleeves, and this is our joggers. Can we see? After ironing, this is what we have. So thank you guys so much for being with me so far on this channel. Please kindly subscribe to my channel. Turn on your notification bells. And also comment. If this video has been helpful, drop your comments. It's a source of encouragement. And also like this video. Okay? So stay tuned till my next video. Bye for now. Don't forget to make this for your kid and for your neighbors. You can gift it out, okay? It's super easy to make and it's super lovely, okay? Look at this one. Aww. Bye.